Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening, Saira. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Yesenia. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. 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 Carlos Antonio is there. Carlos Alberto, Ana Beatriz, Juan Carlos, Elizabeth. Hello, sir. Ana Beatriz and Yesenia Lisette is there too. Okay, okay. I'm ready. Okay, every day that we are here, we are so close to finish this module. I know that maybe some of you are a little tired, but we are going to start. My microphone is on. Hello. Yes, teacher. Ah, okay, okay. I, I was worried about because suddenly when I'm speaking and I don't get any answer, I, I think that I'm having problem with my microphone. That usually happens when I uh, give you some breakout room and suddenly we start again. 
and my microphone is mute and I, I need to be careful about that. Okay, I got 14. I'm still waiting for the rest. Juan Carlos Rivas. Hi, teacher. Glad to see you, sir. Hi. Me too, teacher. Okay. Okay, let us see what we talk today. Okay, let me check out the attendance. Ana Beatriz Campos. Present teacher. Is there, okay. Um, Ana Lilian Reyes. Present. Bautista. Present teacher. Okay, okay. Uh, Antonio Escobar. Present. Claudia. Present. Francis Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay. Galileo. Present. Okay. Eh, Jose Jonathan. Present teacher. Sorry que voy llegando. Okay, no problem. Welcome. Jose Rodrigo. Juan Carlos Rivas. Present teacher. Laura Carolina. Present teacher. Eh, María Concepción. Present teacher. María Elena. María Elena. Are you there, María Elena? Mayra Veralice. Present teacher. Okay. Miguel Ángel ya no apareció, ¿verdad? No. Zaira Marleni. Present teacher. Eh, Misael. Wendy. Present teacher. Okay, Jenny. Jenny. No está. 
Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Diego Ernesto. Present teacher. Brian Javier. No, it's not Brian today. Yes, yeah, the last time uh, he, he, he talked to somebody that is sick. <clears throat> Algo le pasa, Diego. Le digo a Brian. In here, teacher. No, a Diego, no a Diego. A Brian, a Brian. Okay. Present teacher, present. Está teniendo problema con la red, pero yo creo que ya. Ah, 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 let me see, let me see. It's there, it's there, it's there. Brian, Brian. Hello, teacher. Ah, okay. How do you feel? Do you feel better now? Yeah, teacher, thank you. I heard that you were sick. Yes, yesterday. And I hope that you feel better today. If you if you uh, took uh, some medicine and get uh, a, a little rest, maybe you feel better today. Right? Yeah, teacher, thank you. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Okay, this is our class 22nd. Assistant race vocabulary. That is the main topic that we are going to talk today. We are going to continue working in, in the material that we have. And I hope that you can learn a new vocabulary and something that is going to be help you for all of you. Okay, we are going to talk about risk, but at the same time, all depend on the security that you have in your workplaces and that way you are going to reduce the risk. Okay, let us start now talking about this question. The first one says, are manufacturing plants dangerous places to work? Listen, the first question, are manufacturing plants dangerous places to work? What can you tell me about the first question? Yes, teacher. Okay, tell me the reason. Because um, sometimes works with the uh, products in hot or, or chemicals. Chemicals, no sé. Chemicals, chemicals, sustains. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, for that reason, sometimes you need to uh, protect your eyes, your ears, your head, your hand, your whole body, you know. Okay, okay, somebody else, somebody else want to say something about this? 
for example, in the plant, they are uh, electric panels. Ah, electric panel. Electric panels, uh, saying the measure of security is put labels uh, to precaution. And so, uh, cover uh, to people don't touch. Ah, okay. Uh, the, this is a, a measure to protect the people and the co-worker that make a, a maintenance or repair uh, has training about this topic. Ah, okay. Okay, somebody else. And my company t-shirt is depends on the day the machinery and the does not following the established standard of the ruler for the use industrial uh, safer tools. Okay. Okay, okay. What else? Somebody else, somebody else, somebody else. Hey, teacher. Oh, it's coming, sir. In my company, it's dangerous for the radi radiation. Radiation. Okay. But it's controlled with three factor. Okay. But it's dangerous. Really dangerous. Yes. Okie dokie. Radiation. Okay, somebody else? No? The ones that had the cameras off, I invite you to participate. A los que tienen las cámaras apagadas, les invito a que participen y enciendan sus cámaras, por favor. Okay, let us continue. Then the next, the, the second question. Okay, let me show you the second one. Okay, the second one, good uh, safety program. Prevent accidents. What can you tell me about this? For meeting teacher, yes. Uh, the program safe is very, very important. But the depend the culture, the employees. Ah, all depend on the culture of the of the, of, of the people, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, nice. Yes, yeah, because sometimes um, in in factories, uh, the supervisor say, okay, uh, you need to wear glasses, helmet, and gloves, and well, different kind of uh, equipment. But some people say, no, I'm not going to use it. Yeah? Teacher, in the enterprise, all people that, uh need make a work with any tools or any work uh, dangerous work uh, may be the specification of area and read the manual or has a training nobody works if don't have 
training is, okay. is one uh, topic to you don't have an accident. Okay, excellent. Somebody else? Next, please. Uh, and yes, teacher, of course, because there is um, a control on the propers, use the appropriating the machine in tools. Ah, the machinery tools, okay. Machinery, exactly. Por ahí, eh, I'm sorry to tell you this in Spanish, por ahí oí esa palabra antes y me quedé pensando y and I forgot it, but now you remember it. Machinery. Okay, continue. Okay, let us talk about the third one. The third question said, what type of rules do you think a safety plan has? Okay, mention me one. If all of you give me one rule, we are going to have 17 rules. Okay. Let us start with... Uh, okay. Yesenia, Yesenia, Yesenia. Could be a helmet. Okay. Okay, yeah. Clothes and sometimes um cure boca, no sé. Oh mask. It is mask. And also um, jumpers. Okay, jumper. All depend mm -hmm. if somebody is going to welden, it's going to be made by leather. And also boots, boots okay. with, with wow. aislante, no sé cómo se llama. With, uh, I, and, and, and also um, this kind of boots has to have uh, that, a steel toe, it's called that, like that. Steel toe protection. Okay, that's it. Okay. Ya les ayudó, eh, Lisette dijo varias. Pero todavía les ha dejado tres a cada uno, así que por favor, Elizabeth Martínez, eh, todos los que tienen cámaras apagadas son los llamados. To tell me. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Mayra Veralice, Wendy Maribel. Uh, what happened? Something moved. Yes, sir. Hello, sir. Another another rule uh, will be when the area of work has a uh, machinery very uh, very high of sound. Uh, use this obligation. Use airflow. Ah. So don't, don't make that much uh, ear. To the noise. Noise, correct. Yes. Okay. Yes, it is. I used to work and meet uh, to an airport in another country. And sometimes for me, it uh, was really difficult because all the day I, uh, I needed to have it. Yeah, and uh, at the end of the day, when, when you uh, put away, suddenly it's difficult to, to feel better, you know, to feel uh, well, because all the, all the day you keep with that in your ears. Okay, somebody else. Ah, oh, Wendy's there too. Brian Javier is there. <clears throat> uh, 
Okay, tell me if you want if you want to answer uh, question one, question two, question three, or the three one. Just tell me. I'm here. Protection glasses. Ah, oh, okay. Got mm -hmm. a special name. Call I it. know by Diego? safety glasses, teacher. Diego? Teacher. Safe? I know the protection glasses by safety glasses. Okay. All depend because sometimes we call it goggles. Okay, somebody else, somebody else. Let us talk, let us interact each other. We live only just uh, a few days in order to finish this module. Ya estamos a pocos días de finalizar este módulo. And uh, for the reason I invite you to participate, to speak, tell us what you are thinking about it. Díganos qué es lo que piensa. You need to be confident in order to start speaking, you know? And relax and try to speak in a natural way. Okay, somebody else? No? Okay. Thank you. We are going to continue working. I don't know. And uh, if you have any questions so far from here, you can tell me. No question? No, teacher. Oh, okay. Okay, let's move a little bit. In order that we continue working. Okay, we are going to continue with uh, this conversation. Read the following conversation between employees and a manufacturing plan. They are taking, uh, they are talking about the new company's safety measure plan. Okay. Okay, I'm going to read it. Um, and then we are going to talk about Maybe you have some doubts. Okay, by the way, talking about this expression, G, we use it uh, in order to show like a uh, surprise, you know? Esto sería como en español cuando alguien dice, aunque aquí en El Salvador no he oído mucho eso, pero como cuando alguien dice, caramba, ¿qué pasó? Something like that. Okay, G. Have my safety goggles been stolen? I don't see them anywhere. Your goggles have been taken away. There are new safety measures in the plan. You got to be kidding. What are those measures about? You are required to wear air protection gloves. Reflective vest, protection bell, helmet, jacket, rubber boots, air paw, air plugs, store tool in a proper location. So my goggles and the other tools I left around here have been taken away. Yes. The new safety plan has been designed to Prohibit scary stool outside the tool room. Okay, I invite you to read it, get familiar, and then we are going to clarify some questions that maybe you could have.
Okay, take your time. Okay. Difficult words. Okay, I guess uh, you already finished. I'm going to read again. Remember the third expression is, is just like a surprise. Gee, have my safety goggles been stolen? I don't see them anywhere. Your goggles have been taken away. There are new safety measures in the plan. You got to be kidding. What are those measurements? Measures about you are required to wear air protection, gloves, reflective vest, protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber boots, air plugs, store tools in proper location. So my goggles and the other tools I left around here have been taken away. Yes. The new safety plan has been designed to prohibit scare tool outside the tool room. Let me write down the, the symbol for this word in order that you can have a better, I need to move it a little bit from here to put the, the symbols there. Schedule.
Okay, you got it there. Okay, any questions so far from here? Um, do you want to read it and later on we are going to practice or do you have any question? Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Are you reading or? Do you want me to read again or, or, or do you want to do it now? It's up to you. Again, please. Read again. Okay, I'm going to read again. G and my safety goggles been stolen? I don't see them anywhere. Your goggles have been taken away. There are new safety measures in the plan. You got to be kidding. What are those measures about? You are required to wear air protection gloves, reflected vest, protection belt, helmet, jacket, Rubber boots, air plugs, star tools, in proper location. So my goggles and the other tools I left around here have been taken away. Yes, the new safety plan has been designed to prohibit a scattered tool outside the tool room. Okay, who wants to read it? Who wants to read it? Take your time, don't worry about it. Hello, hello, hello. Miguel. Okay, if you want, uh, you can make a screenshot or maybe you got the material because I need to see your faces. Try to make a screenshot if you. Okay. Done? Okay. Done. Okay, who wants, who wants to start? Let, let us do it here first, and then we are going to the breakout room. Okay, do it, do it, do it, do it. I need to somebody to do it. Hello. It's raining for now or? I love. Me? I don't understand if real now or in the groups. No, right now, I remember that um, before to go to the breakout room, I need to be sure that you are uh, pronouncing the words in, in the right way. And later on, at the moment that I consider that all, most of you or all of you uh, got the right pronunciation, we go to the breakout room. Okay, teacher, can I, can I read? Okay, sir. Okay. So, am I? <laughs> and Claudia is going to help you. Yes. Okay. Just start, Carlos. Okay. G, hi, my safety Google being stolen. I don't see them anywhere. Your goggles have been taken away. There are new safety measures in the plan. You got the kidding. What are those measures about? You are required to wear ear protection, gloves, reflecting vest, protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber boots, or rubber boots, uh, rubber boots, earplugs, 
uh, store tools in proper location. So my Google and the other tools I live around here have been taken away. Yes, the new safety plan has been designed to prohibit scary tools outside the tour room. Right. Okay. Thank you. Rubber boots, rubber boots. And, and Google, Google, how, how is the correct pronunciation? Google. Goggles, goggles. 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 The goggles have been taken away. The goggles. Okay. Yes. Who is somebody else, please? Me, Lillian, teacher. Ah, Lillian. Me, teacher, Diego. For ten, Diego. Ten, ten Diego, Ernesto. Sí. Okay. They have my fighting Google thing stolen. I don't see the anywhere. Your Googles have been taken away. There are new safety measures in the plant. Should we go to the cabin? What are those measures about? You are required to wear ear protections, gloves, reflective vest, protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber boots, ear plugs, store tools in proper location. So my Google and the other tools I live around here have yeah. been taken away. Yes, the new safety plan has been designed to pro prohibit the skater tools outside the tools room. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, sir. Okay, somebody else. Me teacher, me teacher. Me teacher. Oh, that is before. Okay. Let's okay. do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Joel. Gee, how my selfie Google's been stolen. I don't see them anywhere. Oh, me. Your Googles have been taken away. There are new safety measures in the plan. You got to be kidding. What are those measures about? You are requiring to wear ear protection, gloves, protection beds, protection belts, helmets, jackets, rubber boots, ear plug, a store tool in proper location. So my Googles and the other tools I left around here have been taken away. Yes, the new safety plan has been designed to prohibit a skater, a skater tool outside tool rooms. Prohibits. 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 Okay. okay, somebody else, the last one, and then we are going to the breakout room. Me, teacher. Me, Zaya. Me, teacher, Saira. And Saira, okay. Me, Saira, can I start or Saira? It's up to you. Okay, Saya, you are the one. Bye. We have my safety goggles being stolen. I don't see them anywhere. Your goggles have been taken away. There are new safety measures in the plant. You got 
to be caring, but are just measure about. Um, you are required to wear ear protection gloves, reflective belt, vest, protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber boots, earplugs, store tools in proper location. So my goggles and the other doll I left around here have been taken away. Yes, the new safety plan has been designed to prohibit scary tools outside the tools room. Okay, thank, thank you. you, thank you, thank you. Let us go to the breakout room. Teacher. Hello, sir. I have a question. Okay, okay. Let, 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 me, let me show you the conversation and you ask me the question. Or, well, well okay. Uh, I have the, the, the conversation. A protection belt is like a harness. Ah, you are you are talking about the, the, the name of protection belt. That's right. Yeah, sometimes could be called in that way because but even uh, if you look the word harness is not is not called in that way. That is a common way sometimes that we can use it. But in this case, for example, imagine that somebody is using a leaf. Do you know what is a leaf? No, teacher. Un montacarga. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, uh, it's mandatory that you need to use your, your bell well, at the moment that you are driving. Because of security, because suddenly imagine that you are going to leave something heavy and that the, the machinery could uh, slide down and put uh, with the wheel up, you know, you need to protect yourself. Yes, okay, I understand. Okay. Could be a different situation, you know. Okay, somebody else. No question at all, okay. Let's go there.
Good evening, teacher. Good evening, sir. It's in back room. Let me assign you with somebody else here. Thank you. Let me see if I can create. We got three, okay, you can practice each other. Uh, Yesenia with Rodrigo, I don't know, is Jenny there too? Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. Can you hear me, Yesenia? Yes, teacher. Okay, I don't know if you are, ah, uh, oh, Yesenia is there too, ah, uh, Suleyma is there. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hello. Good morning. Good night. Good night. Okay. Uh, if you want somebody of you ladies um, can start participating with Rodrigo and then can switch. Ah, okay. Leemos el párrafo, el, la conversación. Rodrigo, are you there? Yes, 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 yes. I don't know if you heard the pronunciation of the conversation or do you prefer that for uh, the latest start and you can do it later. Okay. Okay, Yesenia and Jenny, you can do it now. Okay. Praise the horror teacher. Excuse me? Praise is, is the book. Oh, the base of the book. To the fire. Let me see the number of the pages. Uh, yeah. Joel y Diego. Diego. Yes. 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 Okay. Uh, your start, Jason. Okay, Joel. Give how myself to goggles being stolen. I don't see them anywhere. You Google is have been taken away. There are new safety measures in the plant. To go to be kidding, what are those measures about? You are required to wear our, our protection gloves, reflective vest, protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber boot, ear plugs, store tools, in proper location. So many goggles and the other tools I left around here have been taken away. <clears throat> yes, the new safety plan has been designed to <clears throat> prohibit scattered tools outside the tool room. Okay. Inicia como Joel, entonces. We have my safety goggles being stolen. I don't see terror anywhere. You, Jenny. Okay. Uh, you goggles have been taken away. There are new safety measures in the plant. You have... Uh, you go to kill them, what are those measures about? You are required to wear our protection. Gloves, reflective vest, protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber boots, ear plugs, store tools in proper location. So my goal is that the other tools I left around here have been taken away. Yes. 
the new safety plan has been designed to prohibit sculpture tools outside the tool room. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> thank you, thank you. Okay, welcome back again. I'm going to show you the conversation. And let me tell you this. Okay, now you can see it, right? Yes, teacher. In this case, Diego is talking about a different tool that we can use in order to protect um, ourselves. In this case, for example, where air protections, ear protection, uh, gloves, reflective vests, protection belts. When we talk about protection belt, maybe uh, it's not going to be uh, talking only just on a specific kind because in this case, in a different uh, job, we can have different kind of uh, protection belt. For example, if somebody, as I told you, is driving a much imaginary uh, that means that in, uh, he need or she need to be protected but at the same time if somebody is uh, handling a heavy item you need to have a protection belt in your waist like when somebody lift weights you know or if you are working in a second floor you are going to put something in order to protect yourself and talking about helmet um, most of the companies on time in different areas, we need to have it. And glasses too, sometimes different kind of jacket or also the kind of shoe that we are going to use it. If you work in a place where the machinery is making a, a bit noise, that means that you need to eat airplugs and different kind of, of items that we need to have it. Try to consider that. Because sometimes, uh, for example, when we talk about rubber books, we, we can have a different ones. That's the one that I told you, the one, uh, the most common are the one that have uh, the steel toe protection, you know? Los que traen cubo y le protegen el pie, we call it that in, in El Salvador in that way. And you, you notice, okay. Okay, try to do it. I need volunteer who wants to, uh, do this conversation, just let me know who wants. Volunteers. Me, teacher, and Carlos. Are, are you going to yes. need uh, that I continue sharing or you, do you have it in your... in your cell phone? Uh, yeah. computer? Diego is Diego. Diego is Diego. Uh, I have the the key material, teacher. Uh, you got the material. Okay, 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 okay. Let us do it now. G, have my safety goggles been stolen? I don't see them anywhere. Your goggles have been taken away. There are new safety measures in the plant. You've go to the kitchen. What are those measures about? You are required to wear protection, glove, reflective vest, protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber boots, air plugs, store tools in proper location. So my goggles and the other tools I left around here, here have been taken away. Taken away. Yes, the new safety plan has been designed to prohibit the skater tools outside the tool room. Thank you, teacher. Okay, okay, hold on. The, the rest, please, I need to check out the attendance now because it is time. Give me, give me two minutes in order to do it.
And then we can continue talking about different kind of protection equipment that you can have. All depend on the area that you are working, you are going to use it, right? Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Lilian. Present teacher. Carlos. Present teacher. Escobar. Present. Claudia. Present. Francis. Galileo. Present, sir. Jose Jonathan. Rodrigo is there. Present, present teacher. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, Juan Carlos. Present. Laura. Present teacher. Maria Concepcion. Present. Maria Elena. Maria Elena. Mayra. Present. Saira. Eh, present teacher. Misael. Present teacher. Okay, uh, Wendy. Present teacher. Jenny Suleima. Present teacher. Okay, uh, Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Diego. Present teacher. And Brian. Brian, Brian, Brian. Present teacher. Okay, 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 okay. Only Maria Elena Guadalupe is missing today. And yes, Maria Elena is not here. Okay, let us continue then with the conversation. Let us practice. Who wants Me to? Me and Carlos, teacher. Okay, Ana Beatriz and Carlos. We have two different Carlos, but... Carlos, Joel. Ah, okay. Me? Yes. Carlos Alberto. Dígale Bautista. Carlos Bautista. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Bautista. Okay. I am Joel. Joel. Yes. Okay. He... How my safety goggles been stolen? I don't see them anywhere. Your goggles has been taken away. There are new safety issues in the plant. You got to be kidding. What are those measures about? You are required to wear are the protection, clothes, reflection vest, protection belts, Helmets, jackets, rubber boots, ear blue, store tools in proper location. So my goggles and the other tools I left around here have been taken away? Yes, the new safety plan has been designed to prohibit skater tool outside the tool rounds. Thank okay. you. Okay. Somebody else? Me, teacher, Saira and Laura. Okay, Saira and Laura. Laura? Okay. Gi, how many safety goggles being stolen? I don't see them anywhere. Your goggles have been taken away. There are new safety measures in the plant. Your goal to be kidding what are those measures about? You are required to wear a protection glow, reflective vest, protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber butt, air plugs, store tools, 
in proper location. So my goggle and the other store I left around her have been taken away. Yes, the new safety plan had been designed to prohibit a scarred toll outside the toll room. Thank you, Laura. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay, let us review some words. For example, this one is where. Where, no, where. It's where. 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 This, okay. this, one, this, this one also, tools. 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 Okay. Tools. Tools. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Maria? Claudia, um, me teacher. Okay, Claudia. Uh, who is I? Judy Zai. Jo Joel. <laughs> oh, I see. You, Joel? Are you going to be Joel? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be Diego. Okay. G, how my safe safety goggles been stone stone? I don't see them anywhere. Your goggles have been taken away. There are new safety measures in the plan. You got to be kidding what are two measures about? You are required to wear a protection, gloves, reflective vest, protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber boots, earplugs, startles in proper location. So my goggles. In and the other tools I left around here have been taken away. Yes, the new safety plan has been designed to prohibit scatter tools outside the tour room. Thank you. Thank you. And the last pair. The last pair, please, somebody else. Brian, in your picture. Brian. Brian, are you there, Brian? Gee, how my safe goal was being is stolen. I don't see them anywhere. Your goggles have been taken away. There are uh, new papers in the the plan. You got to be kidding. What are those mysteries about? You are required to, to wear ear protection gloves, reflective vest, protection belt, helmet jacket, rubber boots, ear pulls, short soles in proper location. So my goggles and the other tools I left around here have been taken away. Yes. The new specialty plan has been designed to pro prohibit a scattered tools outside the tool room. Okay, prohibit, prohibits, prohibits. 
Okay, thank you. Any questions apart from here? And don't forget to take into account why do we have uh, this word in bold? But we are going to talk about this issue later on. Any question? No? No, teacher. Okay. And the rest? Me, teacher. Okay, tell me. What is the meaning of scared in the ah. last dialogue? Okay, in the context, in the context, or maybe uh, uh, in, in, in Spanish, así rapidito, cuando dejamos las herramientas en el lugar donde no es adecuado. Ah, okay. Como cuando el mecánico deja una regazón de cosas así en the sort, that is the meaning. Oh, all right, all right. For that okay. reason, for that reason, say, have been designed to prohibit scare to outside the tool room. Outside the tool room. Es decir, no pueden quedar fuera de, de el, el lugar específico donde deben de estar las herramientas. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome, sir. Okay, let us continue then. We have a three question. And you are going to discuss the following question with the classmate. The number one said, what, what items is, is Hoyle looking for? The second one, what is the new safety measure about? And the number three, in your opinion, what should to not be scared, scattered in the production plan? Okay, let us talk about this. I'm going to stop sharing it. And you are going to discuss with somebody else because I'm going to switch to a different room. Let me recreate it. We need to have one more. Okay. Let us talk about five minutes, there is enough. Okay, I got it. I had the time and we are going to open the room. Zero, zero. Scattered cloud.
Microphone for teacher. Okay, go ahead, Annabelle, please. No, este no escuchaba lo que decía, teacher, por eso decía que el micrófono ah, okay. lo tenía apagado. Okay, who wants to read the number one? Is what it is Joy looking for is safe in Google. Okay. Second one. Number two. Um, Somebody number else? Me teacher. Okay. What is the new safety measure about? Is pro prohibit scattered calls of seed for from? Oh, okay. Somebody else wants to read the answer? Opinion different teacher. You are okay. required to wear ear protection, gloves, reflection vest, protection belt, helmet, jackets, to wear boots, ear blue, store tools in proper location. Uh -huh. Okay. What else? Which one is the right one? Teacher, I say Anna Lillian. Anna Lillian? Eh, yo, yo opino lo mismo. Uh, my opin opinion is say eh, Anna Lillian. Opino lo mismo que Anna Lillian, teacher, en la, en la tu. <laughs> Prohibe que es cast scattered tools outside the tool room. It is new safety plan. Okay. Somebody else say Teacher, something? I think for the two is the store tools in proper location. Oh, okay. What is the new safety measuring about? Okay, maybe uh, it's going to sound better if somebody said the new safety measure will have employees wear uh, safety gear and the start tools uh, in proper location. Could be in a better way, maybe because it's uh, it's asking you in a, in a general way. What is the new safety measure about? You know? Okay, and then number three, in your opinion, why should tools not be scattered in the production plan? What can you tell me about it? Why should 
tool not be scattered in the production plan? First teacher, the tool can be lost. In second, it can cause an accident. It can cause an accident, okay. That is your point of view, somebody else. Teacher, I think to protect against accident risk. Okay, could be. What else? To avoid um, accident and um, accident. Okay, what else? We in this question we can have different opinions, and I would like to to hear it. To prevent falls and for keep things in order. Okay, that is your point of view. What about you, Juan Carlos Rivas? What can you tell me about it? Prevent accident and lost the tools. Yeah. And nothing more. Okay. What about you, Misael? Mm -hmm. what, what can you tell us about it? To be more organized and to, um, I would say, like to take care of the company's material. Okay. And you, Wendy? Wendy. Hello, teacher. <laughs> Sorry. What number? Three. Three. Yes. Ah. In my opinion, because that can cause cause accidents. Accident. Okay. Accident. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, going, going, okay. Somebody wants to say something. Me, teacher. Uh, Anna Lillian, tell me. Oh, someone who trip on. Continue, continue. Because someone could trip fall. Uh, could be fall down or slide down. Okay. Yes. My opinion, teacher, because when a problem arrives with the machine and the tool are not in order, it could take more time to research for it. Okay. Okay, going back again to the conversation, I would like to show you again because I need that you tell me something about this. Let me see, I got it here. No, 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 no. What's going on here? Hold on a second. Let me see what is happening here. Okay, before we go to the next activity, uh, I need that you take a special attention to the words involved that we, we have in the conversation and tell me what do you think about it. For example, uh, in the first line we have, I have my safety goggle being stolen. In the second one we have, uh, have been taken away had been taken away, it is saying, had been resigned. What is that? What can you tell me about it? What do you remember?
for emphasis teacher the action okay but my, maybe my question is if this expression are in present and simple past or tell me what do you remember about it yeah, past participle. Ah, past participle. Okay. Uh -huh. Let us make a review before we see the next slide. What can you tell me about how can we build the past part participle of the as a bear? Somebody yeah. wants to give me an example using it, please. But when we use past participle, um, we are using an, what kind of stance we are using, or we can use it. ¿En qué tiempos yo puedo usar el pasado participio? Um, time perfect. In? Perfect. Uh, in perfect times, okay. Okay, and we have different, right? We have present perfect. We could have uh, past perfect, future perfect, and so on. Okay, in this case, I need that you tell me uh, one sentence in present perfect. And then we are going to start talking about the main topic that we have for today in, in the lesson. Just give me an example. Who wants to give me an example using the present perfect stance? I, I teacher, I use my glasses. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to configure it. If you, if you tell me in a, in a short way, maybe it is, it is right. Because if you say, I've, I've used my glasses, maybe it could be in that way. Tell me in Spanish, what is the meaning of your sentence? And I'm going to tell you. Dijo present perfect? Or... Yes, yes, present perfect. Uh -huh. okay. Estoy usando ah, but that is not present perfect. Ah, okay. Don't get confused with the, the present progressive. It's, 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 it's different, right? But I'm asking you about the present perfect then. Just uh, give me a sentence. En este caso sería yo he usado estos lentes o mis lentes. Ah, yo he usado. Okay. Remember that when we talk about the present perfect, uh, we are talking about an action that is starting in the past that can continue in the present and also can continue in the future. For example, somebody say, I have worked here and since 2001, for example. Alguien dice, I have okay. used my goggles. Okay. And when we are speaking in a different level, uh, not in beginner, we, we, we don't use the, 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 the long way to, to say it. We don't say I have work, I worked. It's in a short way, you know. But we need to be careful with our ears when we are going to, to use it and how we are going to identify it, you know. Okay, somebody else wants to give me another uh, sentence? For example, um... I work um, 
Monday pass or pass Monday. But don't forget the auxiliary because we need to have the auxiliary. I have work um, Monday pass. Mm, but in that case, if you are talking about a specific day, maybe you are going to say, I worked. Porque recordemos que cuando usamos los tiempos perfectos, la acción comenzó en el pasado, puede seguir en el presente y también en el futuro. En cambio, cuando yo uso un pasado simple, significa que la acción se terminó. Alguien dice, yo fui a X lugar. Diferente que diga, yo he ido. Quiere decir que ha ido y puede seguir yendo las veces que sean necesarias. Okay, but let, let's go to see the slides that we are going to study today. Yes, uh, what I'm doing is just to refresh your memory in order that you can remember what we are talking about it because uh, it had to do with the, with the conversation that we have here. This is the auxiliary that we have and this is the past participle of the verb. And and we have it in, 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 in question for two, has been taken away, has been resigned. And there is something special here that I would like that some of you tell me, one of you tell me, there is something here that you can identify easily. Tell me what is happening there. Only one, tell me. What is that? I don't think that you are going to give up and you are not going to give me an answer. No? I'll be. Okay, tell me, Wendy. Okay, uh, you are right. In all uh, sentences and question, we have the auxiliary, and at the same time, we have been, and we have it for one reason. But what is the reason? Okay, let us see. The next slide. Okay, because uh, at the moment that we are going to talk about passive voice, we are going to use it. Let us see some examples that we have here. How we are going to use the passive voice with the present perfect stance. But before that, um, I would like to, to know and to be sure if you can uh, tell me what is the difference between act, active and passive voice, what do you remember? No ideas, no ideas. I know that you have that information. Let me try to, to give you a hand in order that you can uh, I got it. Thank you. 
okay, before we talk about uh, the passive voice, I would like to reinforce the active voice. And let me show you something here. How we are going to form in the passive. Okay, we have, for example, uh, when we talk about active, we have subject, verb, and object. Mary held the boy. And at the moment that we are going to switch into passive, we are going to, uh, to switch. The object is going to be the subject. In this case, the boy was held by Mary. In this case, by Mary is the agent. And if you want, you, you can read it. The information at the right side. In the passive, the object of an object verb becomes the subject of the passive verb. The boy in A becomes the subject of the passive verb in B. Notice that the subject of an active verb followed by in a passive sentence. The nouns that are followed by is called the agent. In B, Mary is the agent. A and B have the same meaning. But what about C and, and, and what about this one? An accident happened. An accident happened. And letter D, we have noon. Only transitive verbs that can be followed by an objects are used in the passive. It is not possible to use in transitive verbs such as happen, sleep, come, seen in the passive. And later on, when uh, I can show you the, the appended charts, but it is just to give you some ideas about this. And right here, I'm going to give you some example before we talk about that. Right here, I got uh, different times, but in this case, I'm talking about the passive, uh, the form of the passive B plus the past participle. As you can see, on the left side, I got the opted and on the right side, I got the passive. And we have different uh, tenses here, simple present, present progressive, present perfect. That is the one that we need to study today. But I, I'm, I'm sharing with you this information in order that you can have it. And later on, you can study the different tenses that maybe we are not focused especially today. We have simple past, past progressive, past perfect, uh, simple future, be going to future perfect and so on. But right now, what we are going to see is just the present perfect. And maybe you need to be, uh, to have a clear idea about the simple present too. Because if we say Mary helps the boy, how we are going to switch into passive. Remember what I told you. Recordemos lo que yo dije, sí? ¿Cómo vamos a hacer el cambio? En este caso, María es el sujeto y ayuda a quién? ¿A quién ayuda? ¿Aló? El chico. The boy. Ok. The boy. Ok. Entonces, nosotros en español, para hacer esto, nos hacemos la pregunta, ¿a quién le ayudó María? ¿O a quién le ayuda? Respuesta. De voy al muchacho. Esa respuesta es la que pasa a ser de objeto, pasa a sujeto. Entonces luego va a decir el muchacho, si es en presente, y ahí vamos a usar una forma del di, el muchacho es ayudado por María. En este caso, by Mary es el agente. ¿Sí? Ok, but let us see the present perfect. Mary has helped the boy. What does it mean in Spanish? Hello. Ha ayudado. Mucho. Ha ayudado. Uh -huh. María ha ayudado al chico. ¿A quién le ha ayudado María? Chico. The boy. 
Ok, entonces hacemos el cambio y dice the boy, ¿sí? el chico. Y entonces es donde entra ya la parte del auxiliar. Has been helped by Mary. El chico ha sido ayudado por María. No sé si me comprenden hasta ahí eh, cómo es que se hace, hace el cambio para luego ir ya a explicar el cuadro que nos compete en el material. Preguntas. No preguntas. No, okay. Ah, ok, ok. I'm going back. Ok. The passive voice used when the emphasis or the sentence is one of the action and no on the subject. La voz pasiva es usada cuando el énfasis de la oración, la importancia, está sobre la acción y no sobre el sujeto. 1A. Your cargo had been taken away. In contrast to 1B, they had, they had taken your goggles away. What is the difference between 1A and 1B? Who wants to explain it? We have it there in sentence 1A. The person who took away the goggle is not important. The fact that they were taken away is instead emphasized. I don't know if you have a clear that concept. Just let me know. Hello. Hello. Yes, teacher, I can hear you. Okay, tell me, it is clear or not, because I need that you understand it. Pero por favor, eh, no, solamente me quiero, no solamente me quiero quedar con aquellos que me dicen, yes, it is clear, but what about the rest? ¿Qué dicen los demás? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta, duda? Eh, ¿Es necesario que todos comprendan el tema? Para algunos es fácil, para otros puede ser así como medio fácil, para otros puede ser más complejo. I need to help you to all of you if you want, of course. Teacher, entonces eso puede ser traducido como ha sido o han sido o así, el how been. Sí, así. sí. Eso. y es precisamente y... cuando usemos cuando usemos la voz pasiva por eso les dije que qué veían en las oraciones. Cuando usemos la voz pasiva, siempre vamos a usar una forma del be. En este caso, va a ser been. Y va a ir el auxiliar. Y dependiendo, si aquí fuese, por ejemplo, singular, aquí tendría que decir has been. ¿Sí? Porque ya sabemos que... Eh, he, el, she, cuando me... dice singular, o sea que... El he, she, it, que es el has que ocupamos y, el otro, y los demás que son how. Así. Yes. Yes, okay. it is. Yes, it is. Okay, let, let us continue. The possible statement is this. Object plus have or has been plus the verb. But in this case, uh, we need to use it in past participle form. Okay, take a look at the exercise 2A. Have my safety goggle been stolen? In contrast to to be, had they stolen my safety goggles? This question tackles on the safety goggle, not in the person who is stolen. En esta pregunta, nos enfocamos eh, sobre qué? 
sobre los lentes, las gafas de protección, no sobre la persona que se los, que se los pudo haber eh, robado, llevado, you know? For that reason, said at the end, possible question, have or has, plus the object, plus been, plus bear, um, in past participle firm. For the reason to talk about uh, present perfect or per perfect time, we need to know the past participle of irregular pair. And the only way that we can, uh, how we can do it is just learning by heart. Okay, before we go to the, the exercises, I would like to, to see, to, to know if you have any questions so far from here, because sometimes this topic tend to be confusing for some students. But if you tell me not, teacher, we understand it in a clear way. Okay, let's go. No question at all? Okay, let us move then. Okay, right here, in this exercise, uh, we are going to complete the following sentence and question in the passive voice. You are going to choose the appropriate bear and compare answer with a pattern. We have only just some parts and you need to think how you are going to build up the sentence. Remember that we have uh, six different sentences and we have six different uh, there right here and you are going to use it in in the right way right okay i'm going to give you some time in order that you can solve it and try to think don't forget but we need to use a question in the passive voice okay only we are going to find out two questions and four sentences. Issues, innovate, make, train, create, and give. And don't forget that you need to use an auxiliary to create. Okay, I'm going to give you some time in order that you can do it. Let's do it now. Okay, think, think. And as soon as you finish, just let me know. Tan pronto usted termina, me avisa.
If you want, you can start with, with the fair one. Somebody. Teacher, me for the first. Three new safety measures have been created. Okay. Thank you. Three new safety measures had been created. Okay, had been created. Second one. Me teacher. Okay. We have been given new earplugs. We have been given new earplugs. Okay, okay, nice. Third one. Um, me, Claudia. Okay. okay, their new safety goggles are nice. They have been innovated. They have been innovated. Okay, number four. Me, teacher, for four. The new steel to boots have been made of genu later. Genius letter, okay. Number five. Number five. Remember that in question, we are going to put the auxiliary. Number five, please. The first thing that you need to see, if, uh, if it is singular or plural, based on that, you are going to start the question with, the, the right auxiliary. Tell me. No idea. Okay, have the new safety officer been trained? Okay, that's right. Has, has, the new safety officer. Has, yes. Yeah, has, the new safety officer been trained? Okay, and the last one? The number six, please. It is a question two. And it is singular or plural. Singular or plural? This is plural. Ah, okay. 
Then, if it is plural, we are going to use. Have. Okay. Continue with the question. Uh, okay. Have we used? Use? <laughs> I don't know the new helmet. Yeah, issue. could be could be issued or given uh -huh. the new helmet. Ah, here. Okay. Yeah, bosses then. Okay. Nice. Well, tomorrow. ¿Cómo sería la sexta, teacher? This, the number six? Yes, please. Have, have we been issued or given the new helmets? Cualquiera de los dos verbos podemos usar ahí. Okay. Any questions so far from here? We are close to finish. I invite you if you don't, if you don't, um, if you don't know exactly, or uh, maybe you have some doubt how to use a uh, past participle, uh, you can learn it by her. Is the only way maybe that we can get familiar with that. Okay. No hay preguntas. Todo claro como el chocolate. A la hora de las tareas y del examen es, nacen las preguntas. Ah, okay. But, but in the review, we are going to... <laughs> We're going to continue talking about this uh, this topic. Okay, en español antes de irnos, que alguien me diga cómo hacemos el cambio de una oración en presente perfecto de activa a pasiva. ¿Qué es lo que hago? Así, rapidito. Yo sé que le va lo, su concepto le va a ayudar a más de alguno para que le quede más claro aún. Voluntario. Como lo entendí, teacher. Ok. Especificar al sujeto y qué es lo que ha hecho, cuál es su acción. Poner esa acción en, en pasado. Y usar un verbo auxiliar como el is, has, was, has. Para ir este, conjugando el, ese verbo auxiliar porque la acción... Esa siempre va a quedar en pasado. Algo así. Lo entiendo mm. yo, lo entendí yo. <risa> ok, algo importante es que al momento de hacer pasivos, hay dos palabritas, o digamos, digamos dos, aunque sabemos que hay cambios en, en la tercera persona, que se mantienen siempre. ¿Cuáles son? Para, para pasar y la otra has or has been ah ok y luego el participio pasado el verbo y ahí estamos haciendo uso de la voz pasiva ok perfecto I like I like it I like it ok I hope to see you tomorrow let me check out the attendance now vamos a revisar la asistencia antes de que nos vayamos No sé, no recuerdo si al inicio les di una tabla de verbos en los tres tiempos y hasta con la pronunciación. Yes, ¿Me recuerdan si se las di o no? Hasta el día. At the beginning of the, the module, I remember. Yes. Ok, you have it there, you can learn it by heart if you want. Entre más verbos eh, usted tenga ahí en su mente va a ser más fácil. Ana Beatriz. Present. Ana Lilian. Present. Carlos Alberto. Present. Escobar. Present. Eh, Claudia. Present. Elizabeth. Galileo. Present. Sir. José Jonathan.
José Rodrigo. Gracias, Isha. Juan Carlos. Teacher. Laura Carolina. Present, teacher. María Concepción. Present. María Elena. María Elena no apareció el día de hoy. Mayra. Pero Present, dice... teacher. Zaira Marleni. Present, teacher. Santos Misael. Present, teacher. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Jenny. Present teacher. Eh, Yesenia. Present teacher. Diego. Present teacher. Brian. Present. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Any questions so far from here? No? All of you know when we are going to finish, right? Ya todos tenemos claro el día que terminamos, ¿cierto? Martes, eh, yes, la siguiente semana. Creí que al inicio del módulo les habían explicado que ya los niveles intermedios tienen eh, más horas. Así es que, I'm sorry. Sí, lo habían explicado, teacher, solo que yes. se nos había pasado por alto. Sí, a algunos se les olvidó y dijeron, esta semana terminamos y ya. And I'm sorry to, to hear that. that. Es que yo, yo igual Mano, estaba teacher. pensando lo mismo, teacher. El martes. De la semana. martes ¿Hasta, cuándo? ¿Hasta cuándo, teacher? Hola. ¿Hasta cuándo terminamos? Seguimos la otra semana. Hasta el viernes de la otra semana. La, 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 la. <laughs> no, no, no. No, ya casi nos falta poco. Esta fue la número eh, 22. Tomorrow is going to be 23. On Monday is going to be 24. And then the review and we finish. And bye-bye. See you the next module. Yeah, that is going to be it. Sería though. hasta el lunes, teacher. No sería hasta el martes. Yeah, sí, porque el, el lunes... El lunes terminamos la 24 y el martes hacemos el review y la evaluación de, del módulo, donde ustedes llenan la encuesta eh, y hacen toda la evaluación que consideren pertinente. Y ahí se termina el módulo. No les han avisado cuándo okay. inicia el siguiente, no. Este de marzo, supuestamente. Se supone, ajá, se supone que el 7. Ah, de veras. Pero nunca comienzan, ¿eh? ¿Cuánto dice? Siempre se trazan como una semana. Depende de los grupos. Si, si por ejemplo, de este grupo se mantienen mínimo 20, eh, no hay problema. Pero si hay menos, ahí sí hay problemas. Y como siempre, cada nivel, eh, algo que no debería de pasar, de que algunos... Eh, Siempre se van quedando por X o Y motivos, sus trabajos, tantas cosas que pueden darse, ¿no? Cuando todos mandan la documentación para la inscripción, luego algo así me han dicho también. Podría ser, diferentes cosas. ¿Eh? Diferentes perspectivas, ok. Pero lo más importante es que ustedes van hacia adelante y... At the end of this year, you are going to finish and say, okay, now we are ready to a new position in my job. And that means that you are going to get more money, I suppose that. And sometimes we just got the knowledge, but we don't got more money. But, well, no hablemos de esos issues, porque lo importante es superarse, aprender algo nuevo, sí. Okay, bueno, I hope to see you tomorrow. Good night, bye bye, take care. Good night, Good night. bye bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. God bless you. Okay, God bless you. Good too. night. Bye. Goodbye, everybody. God bless you. Bye Good bye night, bye.